Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. I'm Mark Gingrass. Today, I want to show you how to post a new post using the blog down and Hugo theme and how to add an image. Now, this is not going to be foolproof for everybody. It depends on the theme. And also, if you haven't followed the Hugo blog down theme playlist, you should probably start from the very beginning. So this is assuming that you've already got the blog down created. And I'm just going to show you a couple things that I do. I started a new website. Uh, let me show you the website, actually, before we get too far. I just created this the other day, and it's um, pretty basic. Hopefully you can see it now. I'm in the way, but I'll jump out. So this is the desktop look and feel of it. I have a basic uh, couple of buttons up here. I can change it to night to day, which I like nighttime, don't get me wrong. Uh, home button, and then a little flippy page thing that gives me just some basic uh, contact information. Now these are not really blogs, they're kind of more video blogs. So if I click on one, it shows me a big giant picture and I've got also the tags and the categories over here. So if you were interested, once I get them all, you know, once I have enough, you know, then it'll be worth clicking on them. But I just started this. I'm just doing tours. So I embed a, a YouTube video in here, which I've got to figure out a few um, nuances. You know, like this is a little small, but I want it to work on mobile devices too. So I'm still working on all the kinks. But I basically have a few things in here. I have an embedded iframe, it's called, an embedded video. And then down here, I have affiliate links. Now, to get those to work, um, I had to do a couple of things. So let's, let's jump back to the R. And I, I just want to show you a couple of things that you might want to think about when you're doing things with your site. So right now, I'm served. My site is served. So I did blog down, colon, colon. So I did blog down colon colon serve site and then hit, hit enter and then you can actually see your site pretty much from the R studio down here in the viewer you can also use the browser if you prefer but so anyways I have a post here and I have the YAML code from 1 to 14 with my tags my categories now on this particular theme it recognizes something called cover and so what it is is that cover is what this picture is right here these pictures here that's what the cover is now how do i do that easily i don't want to keep moving files from one place to another and excuse the file name on this i usually change them to something more readable don't worry about that okay so what i want to show you is a couple of things i have the iframes in here this is like again this is my advertisement from amazon affiliate links up here i have the embedded iframe to get iframes to work to get them to work because you're going to try to use iframe you're going to try to embed things into your rmd files and they might not work you need to go to your config.toml file and you might have a yaml file so it's going to be slightly different with yaml uh, let me see if i can find it here i actually wasn't going to show this unsafe equals true so in yaml i need this particular set of code right here the markup gold mark gold mark dot renderer unsafe equals true once i put this in um my yaml or uh, my toml file which yaml will be slightly different you can actually convert yaml to toml there's some conversions online sorry it's a little confusing for you um but once you do that you can actually embed iframes before that it's it's actually it's not going to work so I have all these posts and what I want to show you is how to create a new post with a picture. So let's do that. And I am not going to actually post this to the website because it's, uh, it's uh, this is a real site. I'm not ready to do that. So all you have to do is if you don't have it already, which you should because you have the blog down and, and all that installed already, you have blog down installed, you have this add-ins feature here. Just click on insert, I'm sorry. Click on new post, new post. It's as simple as that. And then you've got this here. You put your title in. So example title, you put the author, the date, subdirectory, all that can stay the same. Of course, if you don't want to put it in that subdirectory, then there's a different place. You can, you can do that. Categories, you can put whatever categories you want, tags, et cetera, et cetera. And it'll automatically put those in for you in the YAML code. Now down here where it says format, I find it best that you always do R markdown, RMD. So if you do an RMD file, if I click on done, you can see that it's set up. Now I don't have any tags, I didn't put any in there, but it would have already put those in there, right? So now 
we can we can say you know this is our post and then I can save it and once I hit the control s button because I'm already serving the site down here it will show now I have an automatic thumbnail based on this theme if I don't pr produce one it gives me a random picture of there's only four random pictures but it shows that one and it's my example title you can see example title example title it is a blog post that's already ready to go so that's all you have to do write your post now right and you can put your iframes embed stuff in here now um, but what I want to show you is how to get your own picture there just for just for fun right so in the add-ins you can just go to here's what I do you can do insert image right here and you can browse for your image whatever image you might want so let's just plug in a picture of me right and you can also put an optional percentage for the width and height and you can put in your alternative text which you should do to be more 508 compliant and to help people that are uh, hard to see uh, understand what the picture is but once you put all that in there here I'll put it in here alt text here and click on done you can see that it automatically not only did it automatically put our um, markdown code in here to say here's a picture let's let's take a look at it real quick um, or let me save it control s remember you have to save a lot of these to get them to actually appear here now I didn't actually change the thumbnail so here's my example one again it's random but if I click on it you'll see I've embedded this picture the pictures already here right now what did it do that add-in actually took wherever I found that picture which was in my downloads folder it actually moved it to the correct place and what I do is if I want a thumbnail I'll actually click on add in picture make it do the move for itself and then I'll add something here called cover and I'm not sure if cover works with every theme but I literally just grab this part control C on it and control V here no quotes nothing and I really don't want this picture here so I'm gonna delete it here but I've used it I've used that add-in to actually move the file for me and it automatically gave me the um, the path that I needed for my cover now if I control s now you'll see this picture is going to be gone um, but it's let, let me click on home here but the picture of me is now my thumbnail see that's my featured photo example title so that's there um, I can show you what this looks like in the browser here in a second as well because what we do is we grab this URL I will go back up to here this is my real live site and then let me show you the R version that we just created what it looks like oh maybe that's an old uh, URL let me see uh, I think I've rendered a couple of times Uh, let me let me do Surfside again. I'm not sure if I did it. It I would think so because it seemed to be working. <laughs> so there it is. There's my picture. Let's check again at this website. There's got to be a way to actually get that URL again if if you forget what it is. Now let me go ahead and show you the desktop version of it. What it would look like. See my picture. It's a little bit different size. I like this theme. It's pretty cool. I have been happy with it. Uh, but when I click on it, you'll see there's that featured photo is automatic based on this particular theme's instructions, right? Now, I don't really want that, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, not save this. So this particular file, the example, I'm just going to close it. I'm going to go to Files. Now, where is that located? Well, if you go to your base directory, it would be under Content, Posts. Now, I have it called Example. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the examples, and that way... I don't have to push any of that to I and the and the uh, picture actually did move so that's why I still have um, I will still have to delete that picture if I wanted to delete it so in fact that picture should be if you go to your documents and where that is which mine is under my project is called tour with mark so if I go to content posts um, there's no pictures there so the pictures are located under static posts and then here they are so I have that example title here down at the bottom that's where that picture went automatically for us now I don't need that directory so I'm gonna delete it but all the rest they're all in there so notice the directory structures notice that we have static and we have content those two you want to focus on most of the time in all these Hugo themes the pictures are going to be located under static somewhere but you don't want to do that 
uh, manually. So use the add-in, it really helps. And so content post is where the post is, static posts is where the automatic pictures go. So you, got, you can see I have pictures in each one of these. And that's what I do. That's simple as that. And then I push it to GitHub, you know, commit, stage, commit, push to GitHub. And there it is. It's a new post just like that. It's very simple. Now, you will probably run into some issues because everyone's got a little bit different theme. There is this base URL. I use this forward slash. You might have put in your whole URL. It gets a little confusing with the configuration, but this is a, a start of how you would do that. I hope this helps and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and please share. I am trying to hit that thousand mark, which I think it'll happen by midnight tonight. So I'm excited for that. So thanks everybody and I will see you on the next video.